relativity and quantum theory, the two most fundamental theories of matter, uh, really contradict each other in, in the sense that relativity is, uh, uh, you know, is local, it's causal, it's determined, you know, it's continuous, and quantum mechanics is just the opposite. It's non-causal, it's non-continuous, it has discrete jumps, not, but things not passing through the intermediate space, and it's non-local. It has these peculiar properties, uh, electrons connected at long distances. So with that absolute contradiction of the two basic theories, I said there was only, we could try to find out what they had in common. Now what they have in common is what I call undivided wholeness. You see, I, the view of relativity which Einstein was pursuing was that a particle, that there's only a, a general field, particles are concentrated regions of field which spread out through the universe and merge with others. So the particle is an abstraction, according to Einstein. There's only a, a whole field which is undivided, right? Right. And that's the undivided wholeness is what characterizes that theory. Now, quantum mechanics, in a very different way, comes to the same thing because it says energy exists in the form of indivisible quanta, and the entire movement of the universe is made up of in unbreakable, undivisible links. You see, and that there, which include the observer and the observed. Let's see, it includes us as well as the atom that we're looking at. And so, relativity and quantum theory both agree on that. So I said that would be the starting point, to start from the whole and to say the parts are abstractions from the whole, they have no independent existence. Now I think you can get a simple image of that if you look in water and see a whirlpool or a vortex. See, it looks like an entity, but it isn't. It's nothing but a constant pattern of movement in the water. If you put another whirlpool in, the two penetrate each other, merge, and produce one new pattern. They do not produce two separate whirlpools interacting. <laughs> And we want to say the atoms, propose the atoms are that way. That's a very rough picture, but it's, you know, it gives you an idea. The electrons, the protons, the entire universe is built that way.